Hey, I'm John. Welcome to the farm. Today, I gotta do some cultivating on the corn here, on the cornfield. So uh, we'll do some cultivating. And uh, I noticed some of the corn down in the lower field on there, well, that's a whole story of its own. I just, uh, if you've been watching, I just cleared the field and uh, I decided to put corn in there, which I didn't do a soil test. I didn't do anything on it. I didn't really know how the soil was gonna be. I mean, it looked good, but, so it turns out that a lot of my corn stalks are getting purple. And uh, what that means is you need some uh, phosphorus. You're low on phosphorus. What I should have did was I should have just did a soil test, added my lime, and uh, planted something that's not a heavy feeder like um, some oats or wheat, something like that, you know, something that I could get off of it for hay and it doesn't need a, you know, it isn't a heavy feeder, doesn't need a lot of ground. I mean, a lot of uh, nutrients in the soil. So let me show you here what's going on with the corn. So, I don't know how good you can see that, but it's got a lot of purple in it. And it's a lot of it is like that. It has a lot of purple in it. So that means my phosphorus is low. And of course, all of the animals are decided that they want to eat it again. So it wasn't only the chipmunks and the squirrels that were destroying my field because they dig it up and then they eat the seed off the bottom and then it just dies. Now it's getting big enough that they can't dig it up and eat the seed off of it. So now the deer are coming in and things like that and uh, they're chewing the tops off. Of course, it's been real dry here. Since, a since April 30th, we haven't had a good rain here. And I'm in the nor Northeast PA and uh, everything is so powdery dry. A couple of rains, maybe three, four times, maybe 10, 15 minutes, but that's about it. Yeah, so if you could see all of the purple. And then you can see here that things have been eating it, chewing it off. Yep, it's purple everywhere. Everywhere you look, some green, a lot of chewed off, a lot of chewed off corn from the deer, of course. And then a lot of purple. This is not everywhere, but it's a good bit. What I learned from this is you really shouldn't start out with something that's a heavy, that needs a lot of nutrients in the ground. I should have got my manure spreader. I should have spread this with manure. Got a lot of chicken manure and stuff in, stuff in here and uh, put a lot of lime down in here. And then I could have planted something that, you know, that would have, that would have uh, really taken off. So. I'm gonna try and add some uh, fertilizer, you know, like maybe triple 19, something like that. Something that I can really get a, something that I can really get a, a quick boost to. But uh, hopefully it grows. I mean, it isn't doing the best. Some of it is doing okay, some of it isn't, but it's real spotty with the nutrients, you know. So, uh, I'll show you what it looks like up top compared to down here that I've been working on the soil. So, come on, Blackie. Let's go up to the top. Check out the corn up there. Are you coming? Come on. Next year, I'm gonna take out this little bit of brush here and uh, combine this whole thing into one big field. 
So I got to get the mower out. We got some mowing to do. But I want to get this top field cultivated anyway. Because a lot of the weeds are starting to take off. Okay, so I planted this a little bit later than the other corn down, down below. And it's looking pretty, looks, look, looking pretty good here. Um, nice green color. It could be a little bit darker green, but I'll take this. Nothing's purple anyway. So I'm a potassium is is good like I said it could be a little greener but uh you know when I top dress it with nitrogen it'll uh get much greener so we'll see how it looks we'll get the tractor and we'll hook up the uh cultivators and cultivate this so weeds aren't so bad so I almost don't want to cultivate this corn because I'm worried that uh, once I cultivate it I'm gonna be taking all of the moisture or a lot some of the moisture out of the soil and like I said it hasn't rained in a long time but rather than have all the weeds starting to take all of the nutrients out of the soil I think I'm just gonna go through quick it's in the evening and uh, the sun's gonna be off the field pretty soon, so it shouldn't hurt it too much. There's some chickens there. Some of them are molting. That's a turk in there. So, uh, but one thing I will tell you though is, as far as chickens go, probably the best chicken that you can get if you want an egg laying chicken that's docile and friendly and not very skittish won't run away from you things like that is uh aurora and red hen um you want to get an egg layer hen uh there's two different kinds of the heritage breed the rhode island red um one is a dual purpose and that's for eggs and meat and then you you have more of a hybrid like an egg laying uh rhode island red so uh just keep that in mind if you're thinking about chickens i mean i have isa browns i have Plymouth Rocks, I have uh, Easter Eggers, I have all kinds of chickens, Araucanas, you know, uh, Sussex, all kinds, but the most friendly ones that I have are the Rhode Island Reds, and they lay really good. I noticed some other breeds, like the Turkins, and especially breeds like that, they like to eat the eggs a lot, so uh, I never had a problem with my Rhode Island Reds eating eggs. So maybe it's my own experience. Maybe you have a different experience. If you do, let me know. So let's get the tractor started up here and uh, get the cultivator hooked on and we'll get this field done. We got her hooked up on the back there. Let's we'll see how it goes. It sways a little bit. I should have uh, tightened up my, my three point arms, but uh, we'll see how this goes.
Well, just got done cultivating. You can see the corn rows there. I'll tell you what, it's dry. It is really dry out. I don't know, some people say, you know, you're gonna have a bad year of corn. I don't know. I don't know if, I know we need some rain though. This corn should be about six to, eight, six to eight inches taller than it is already. But uh, we'll see what happens. And uh, that's got about doing it for me. If you have any questions or comments about corn or chickens, anything like that, just ask. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. I appreciate it. So uh, hope you have a great weekend. Have a good day. Bye-bye.